guys! So today's video is going to be a super exciting one as I'm sure you can tell by the title or at least I'm really excited because I've never done one of these before but in case you can't read it is going to be my current makeup collection and storage video. Um, I've never done one of these basically because I've never had a setup for my makeup that I've liked before but I did just recently redo my bedroom and my makeup collection was revamped with that. It did take me a little bit longer to get that finished just because I was so picky with how I wanted it stored but I do finally have a setup that I like and that I'm really really happy with and that just makes me happy because it means I can finally film this video for you guys so with that being said this is not going to be one of those makeup collection videos where I go super in depth and show you guys like every shade of lipstick that I have but it is just going to be me basically showing you my setup and how I have all my makeup organized um, the way that I like it so if you guys are interested in seeing that then just keep watching because I'm just going to get started on it Okay, so here is an overview of the unit that I keep my makeup in mainly. I got this unit from Ikea in February for my birthday and I will put a direct link to it down below for you guys if you do want to just go to it on the website if it is still there, which I'm hoping that it will be. As you guys can see, the unit is basically just like a dark brown black color and it has six drawers. The top three drawers are shallow and then the bottom three drawers are just a little bit taller than the top three. And the unit is on wheels, which is really handy because I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is a mirror behind it. I'll wave my hand so that you guys can see it. And that is a um, full length mirror. So when I want to take an outfit picture or anything, I basically just wheel that unit away. And then I have the mirror to use and then I can just wheel it back. And it's really simple and easy. And I like that it's like mobile like that. And then as you guys can see, I just keep my Bose music player right there to the left. And then I have my Sensi Owl right there. So he kind of sits there perfectly and then I usually just like throw stuff down on the table when I come in my room so right now I just have my planner and a pen and then I think like a catalog or something sitting on top of it and now I'll just show you guys what I keep in each drawer Okay, so here is the top drawer pulled out all the way. As you guys can see, I just kind of call this my random drawer because I pretty much just shove random stuff in it when I don't want to forget about it. So off to the right here, I just have my Scentsies that I keep on hand when I want to switch it. I showed you guys my Scentsy earlier. It's like sitting on top there. And then off to the left, I have just different products that I feel like I need to try that I won't remember to try if I keep them anywhere else. So I have like the new Benefit Liquid to Powder products that they sent me and then I have some L'Oreal nail polishes that I still need to try and then up at the top there I have some Vichy products that I got from work that I haven't tried yet and then I just have like a random cologne that I got for $20 that I need to give away and sometimes I have other stuff in here but it's basically just where I throw stuff that I need to remember to try or my Scentsies I guess so not very exciting but that's what I keep in the top drawer Now here's an overview of the second drawer down. This one is my face drawer, so I basically keep any products that I use on my face in it. Off to the right here is where I keep like my foundations, my concealers, and then my primers are all sitting on top. So I've got like the new Maybelline Baby Skin Primer, and then the Hello Flawless or Stay Flawless Primer by Benefit, and a Smashbox Primer, and then there's a Cover Effects one there. And then I've got the CoverGirl 3-in-1 Foundation, the Stila Foundation, L'Oreal True Match, and then a Smashbox BB cream that I brought on my trip to Mexico recently for like the beach and then underneath I just have kind of like a random collection of concealers like I can see the Rimmel wake me up concealer and then the fake up by benefit and then there's a um, bourgeois concealer in there it's the healthy mix concealer so that's kind of just like a random um, compartment and then beside that is where I keep all of my blushes and highlights so as you guys can see, I kind of have all my Benefit box powders like underneath there. And then I've got one of the new Too Faced blushes. It's like a three-toned heart blush. I love that. And then I've got a MAC blush, a MAC highlighter, the NARS Laguna and Orgasm duo, I think it is. It's like a blush and bronzer duo. And then I've got a Stila blush slash highlighter. 
and a Lee Swatier highlighter. And then I've got all of the Benefit cheek stains under that NARS palette there. So they're just sitting there. And then I keep all my bronzers up here. So I've got some Physicians Formula ones there and then a Lee Swatier one there. And then there's a Maybelline Dream Sun one right there. I think that was just a limited edition one. And then I've got a Smashbox one over there and then just some random ones down there. I don't have a lot of bronzers, but I do actually love bronzers. So I try to keep it under control now when I'm buying them because I used to buy so many. And then in this compartment here, I just have my face powders. So I've got the Revlon Nearly Naked, a Bourjois Healthy Balance, Rimmel Stay Matte, the new Urban Decay Naked Skin one, and then a Maybelline Dream Wonder. And then I think there's just like a random bronzer under there that I couldn't fit in there. And then hopefully you guys can see, but off to the left there, I have the Benefit um, Professional Powder that I've been loving also that I just kind of through in there. So I know this drawer seems kind of crazy and seems like it has a lot going on in it, but it is organized in my mind because they are all in different compartments. So there is drawer number two. And here is the third drawer down. So this is my eye drawer. It's where I keep all my eye products, as you guys can see. So off to the right, I keep all of my cream eyeshadows and single shadows. So I've got like some of the Maybelline tattoos, and then I've got some single pigments there, and some of the Urban Decay shadows. And then I also have a couple of the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows tucked in there. And then beside that is where I keep all of my eyeliners. So kind of on the bottom section there is where I keep all of my liquid eyeliners. Like I've got some Stila ones, and then I've got a Lee Swatier one, and a Gosh one. I really like colored eyeliner, so that's kind of where I keep those. And then on the top is where I keep like my pencil liners and my eyebrow products. So I'm not going to go through all that because it's a mess. But that's kind of where I like to keep all like my skinny pencils and stuff. And then in this top compartment is where I keep all my mascaras. And it's crazy because I always said that I never owned a lot of mascaras up until this. But when I was organizing this, I realized that I actually have so many on hand. So I need to start using different ones and kind of get through those. Um, so you guys can see I've got like the CoverGirl Lash Blast. And then I've got the Lash Blast Fusion. And then I've got that leopard print. I think it's called like the Colossal by Maybelline. And then that one there is kind of fun. It's a purple uh, mascara by Bourjois. And then I've got the Maybelline Great Lash. And then I think I've got a Rapid Lash in there too because I used to use Rapid Lash and I still kind of use it sometimes. And I'm not sure if that's the empty one because I do actually have two. So that one might actually be empty. And then under that compartment right here is where I keep all of my glitter eyeliners and my eye primers. So I've got lots of the Lee Swatier glitter eyeliners in there like golds and silvers. And then I just keep my eye primers and I've got some lash glue in there too. So I have like the Essence eye primer and then there's a shadow potion under there. And then there's the Too Faced glitter primer under there. And then I've got the lash glue by Duo. And then in that compartment under there is where I keep kind of my random stuff. So I've got like some fake eyelashes. They're mink lashes that I love. And then I've got a set of bourgeois lashes. And then I've got the bourgeois lash applier. So it's basically like tweezers that you can use to apply your fake eyelashes easier. And then I've got a random white Makeup Forever pigment that I like to use as white eyeliner sometimes. It's kind of fun to use like white liquid liner instead of black. So I have that tossed in there. And then I have the trays from those Stila, they're like the Stila metallic eyeshadows or whatever because you have to mix them in this tray. So I just toss those in there with that because it's kind of like my little random compartment. And then off here I have all of my single drugstore palettes and then I've got a couple high-end palettes in there as well. So you can see like I've got some Maybelline um, palettes over there and then there's some L'Oreal ones tucked away in there. And then I've got some hard candy ones under there and then it looks like I've got some Smashbox and then these ones here are Lancome. I love those Lancome palettes. I think I have three of those um, all stacked on each other right there. And then that's pretty much it for this drawer other than my little Naked Basics palette which is kind of tuck in the corner because it's small and I kind of consider it kind of like a single little eyeshadow palette instead of like a big one. So there is an overview of drawer number three which is my eye drawer. Here is the fourth drawer down, which is my favorite drawer out of them all because it is my lip drawer. I know I have so many lip products, but I think every girl does because they're like the funnest thing to collect. So I'll kind of zoom you guys in here so you can see. So I've got 
all of my single lipsticks in the front here as you can see I've got four individual lipstick holders that I love I think they're such a lifesaver because I can see everything now and I love that I can put like the color up so I can see it so clearly um, so off to the left here I have like all my Maybelline lipsticks those are probably the brand that I own the most of and then I've got some Lime Crime lipsticks and some CoverGirl and then some Revlon and Rimmel. And you can kind of see like those black ones there are my MAC lipsticks. And then I've got quite a few of the Revlon um, lip butters, I think they're called, which I used to love. And then just kind of like a random mix of like L'Oreal and there's a Dior one there. And then this one is my favorite. It's all of my Maybelline Baby lips that I kind of collect. I love collecting these because they're so fun and colorful so I collect those and I put them all there and then I've got some Elizabeth Arden lipsticks that I just recently bought in here that I've been loving and then beside that I've got a compartment here with all of my lip liners so just kind of random colors and then on the top here I keep like lip balms like kind of like twist up lip chaps even if they're tinted or anything and then like some normal lip chaps and then just random glosses and stuff so just kind of stuff that's like good for your lips or like lip repairing or anything like that and then beside those is where I keep all of my EOS lip balms I've got some doubles but my sister likes to steal these from me all the time so I don't really know which ones I even own anymore but when I know where they are that's where they are and then I've got an EOS hand cream up there and then in this top compartment up here, I have all of my liquid lipsticks and then some lip crayons, like the twist up crayons. So I've got like a Stila red one and then some of the CoverGirl lip balms and then more like liquid lipsticks and stuff kind of just tossed in there. And then I've got some OCC lip tars that I just recently bought that I love. And then I've got one of the L'Oreal Infallible like liquid lipsticks, that's like the Beyonce red or whatever that I love. And then up here is kind of like my crazy compartment. It's all of my lip glosses, like any lip gloss that I own is in there. So I'm not going to go through it because there's so much. But you can kind of see like the new Maybelline ones sitting on the top there. I love those. And then the new Naked ones sitting there that I also love. And then I've got like some Bourjois and stuff. So those are all just kind of tossed in there. And I don't really touch those very often because I'm not a big lip gloss person. But I just don't want to get rid of them because I have so many. So <laughs> that's basically um, all there is to my lip drawer. So I'll zoom you guys out so you can see just like one more overview of that. And then in the drawer down from my lip drawer, this is such a random drawer, honestly. It's kind of like random nail products that I don't have any place to put. So I've got like some nail wraps, like the Essie ones, and then those ones are Maybelline, I think. And then just like nail guides and nail stickers and just stuff like that, like fake nails or anything that I don't really have a place for. And then those are the blending sponges that I use from Quo. So I guess I just have an extra one in there for when I have to throw the other one out. So I'm not really going to show you guys too much of that drawer because it's so boring. But it's pretty much just where I toss like any random nail product that I can't fit with my nail polish in. And then this is the bottom drawer in the unit. So this is where I keep all of my palettes. I've got quite a few palettes from BH Cosmetics that I recently ordered when they had this huge sale going on. So I've got like some blush palettes and then um, under there is like the 120 color palettes and just kind of random stuff like that. And then I've got a big Quo palette up there and then one of the Smashbox Be Discovered palettes that they came out with one Christmas on top of it. And then I've got the Naked one palette, the Naked 2 palette, and normally the Naked 3 palette is right there, but I actually have it in my other little section, so I'll show you guys that in a second. And then I've got the Urban Decay Smoked palette, and then just like a random self-made Urban Decay palette up there. It only has like two colors in it, so I don't really touch that one very often. And then I think off in the corner there is my Bill Nye Banana Powder. I like that stuff for makeovers, so I don't really use it on myself, but if I'm going to like a freelance job, I like to use that. So that's basically it for the bottom drawer where I keep all of my palettes. So I'll just let you guys look at that for one more second. So that is basically it for what I keep in my little Ikea drawer set. Like I said, I'm super happy with it and I'm absolutely loving the way that it looks with my other furniture. And I will, of course, put a direct link down below for you guys if you guys are interested in checking that out.
Now this is the other little part of my makeup collection. So this is where I kind of keep like my essentials and stuff that I use every single day. You guys can see me in the mirror up there. Um, so I'll zoom you guys in so you guys can see what that looks like up close. This is another little drawer set from the container store that I ordered and that I'm really, really happy with. I think it's like the perfect size because it still fits pretty big products in it, but not too much that it takes up a lot of space on my vanity. And then kind of like on top of it, I have my palettes in just like a little, um, I think it's like a envelope holder or something that I got from Staples. So you guys can see those there. So in the top drawer is where I keep my face stuff. So I've got my foundation that I'm currently using right now, which is the Urban Decay Naked Skin, and I love it. This is actually my second bottle of it. And then I've got the Benefit Professional that I use every single day, and I've used it every single day for so long. So I keep rebuying that, and it's kind of like one of my everyday essentials. And then under that, I have my Stila One Step Correcting Primer that I also really love. And then beside that, I keep my Smashbox Hello Hydrate powder I think it's called so I've just been using that as my powder for the last few days and then I've got a little sharpener here from Essence and then I keep my blending sponge back there and it's still kind of damp so you guys can see how dirty that is but this is pretty much just where I keep like the face products that I use every day um, and I switch that out quite a bit when I want to try like a new foundation or anything but that's where those are kept and then in the second drawer, I keep kind of just random stuff, I guess. I've got like my MAC palette that I use pretty often down below. And then I've got my Smashbox eye primer that I use under my eyeshadows. And my Benefit Gimme Brow sitting on top. And then I've got two bronzers here. This is a Pure Minerals bronzer. And this one is a Too Faced, I think it's called like Poreless Primer or something. So I've been trying that out recently because I just bought it. And then I've got one of the Dior lip creams back here. I think it's called like a rose tint lip cream or something. So I just use that when my lips are feeling really dry before I put on lipstick. And then I've got the Anna Sui um, lip top coat. I throw that on on my lipstick sometimes if I don't want it to like transfer. And then I have a MAC paint pot in the color Bear Study. That's just like a shimmery cream eyeshadow that I layer under my powders sometimes, my powder eyeshadows. And then I've got a MAC Prep and Prime in the color Light boost I think it's called it's the yellow one so I use that every day and then I've got some eyeliners like I use the L'Oreal super slim eyeliner every day as my liquid liner and then I've got like an orange NYX lip liner underneath because I like to wear orange lipstick lately so it's just easy for me to have that all there instead of like getting up and grabbing it all the time so that's what I keep in drawer number two and then in the bottom drawer, I keep kind of random samples here that I've gotten for skincare that I just kind of want to use up and get rid of. So I've got lots of Biotherm samples because they are a brand that gives away tons of samples when you buy from them. And then I have a Rapid Lash. Like I said, I still use that sometimes before bed. And then over here, I just have the Urban Decay um, Vitamin B6 kind of prep spray. So it's not a setting spray, but it goes under your makeup. So on days that I remember to use that, I like to use it because it just makes my skin feel really nice and I like what it does for it. So that drawer is not very exciting, but that's basically just what I keep in that one. And then as you guys can see, I also keep my MAC Fix Plus just off to the side here because I do use that every single day as my setting spray now. So I just kind of am able to reach beside it and grab it when I need it. And then off to this side is where I keep my makeup brushes. They're just in a big container from, once again, the container store. So I just kind of shove them all in there. And those are all my face and eye brushes. So I don't have as many as most people do. But I do kind of want to get another way to store them. I might get another cup and then separate the eye and the face ones. But I haven't done that yet. So that's just what I keep them in right now. And then on top of that little three drawer container is where I keep all of my palettes like I showed you guys earlier. So here I have the Naked 3 palette that I just kind of have tucked in there. And then I've got the Anastasia Contouring Kit. This is new and I'm absolutely loving it as my contour and highlight. So I've got that in there. And then I've got the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette that I absolutely love and use every day. And then I've got a Stila palette. I don't remember what this one is called. I think it's called In the Light that I have in there. So I use the Kitten eyeshadow in that quite often. 
And then I also just have the Naked 2 palette up there. I do have two Naked 2 palettes. I'm not really sure why. I think I got one as a gift. So I have one in here and then one in my drawer like you guys would have seen earlier. So those are kind of the palettes that I tend to use the most. And I do definitely use my other ones. But I just find that these are the ones that I come across the most and like want to use. So I just keep them up there so that I don't have to like keep going back and forth to get the other ones. And then just right here, I've got a random little Elizabeth Arden lip balm. It's super moisturizing, so I toss that on before bed sometimes when I'm doing like my skincare stuff. And then I have the Josie Moran Argan Oil in the light form that I just keep right there that I bought from Sephora. So I like to use that sometimes too when my skin is feeling extra dry and I just kind of want a little pick-me-up. So once again, there's just a little overview of everything that I showed you guys. I've got my brushes, the MAC Fix Plus, my three drawer acrylic set, and then my little palette holder up top with all of my palettes in it. So here's another overview of everything that I have. There's my Ikea drawer set. And then this is my vanity where I keep everything else. So I've got like my um, zoomy mirror right there. And then that's a picture of me and my grandma with a little note from my best friend that I keep on my desk. And there's a benefit calendar behind it. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then I've got my skincare stuff right here. And then my brushes and then my acrylic set that I just showed you guys. So once again, there's just another little overview of all of it. All right, so that is it for my entire makeup collection. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it wasn't too rushed or too jumbled for you guys and that you really got a good idea of how I keep everything organized and set up. And I will try to put as many direct links to my organization stuff for you guys as I can find. Um, thank you so much for watching this. I love you guys all so much. I will also put links to my Twitter and Instagram down below for you. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And once again, just thank you so much for watching this. And I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Yeah.